is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Good evening, Kevin. Well, last season, Paul George had a homecoming. He said, as a kid, I pictured playing in L.A., my parents being able to watch me at Staples. I'm not playing for the Clippers. This is home. I'm playing for the home team. It doesn't get any better than that. And Kevin, his family is backing him up. They show up to every game here. What a story. David, thank you. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Utah Jazz. Then on Sunday, they'll take on Chris Middleton and the Milwaukee Bucks. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. It's Aldridge at the power forward with Pirtle at center. DeJounte Murray is out there with White. And it's DeRozan in at the three slot. And for the Clippers, we've got Patrick Beverly. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Morris. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's George in at the two guard. Plenty of experience, Greg, on the floor tonight. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? You know, Kevin, this is one of those games where guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Passes it to Leonard. Shot clock at five. He's off on that one. Aldridge with some nice D. Murray surveying the D. Outside DeRozan. George against White. Pass to DeRozan. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. On this matchup with the Spurs, it's their first meeting of the season. And as you would expect, they came out on top in last season's series against this club, but no reason to expect anything different this time around. You take nothing for granted. These teams are very familiar with one another, and we expect a close contest. And so the Los Angeles Clippers get the first points of the ballgame. Murray, the pass to Purdue. Here's DeRozan. And a great assist by Aldridge as that one goes in. Well, the handles of DeMar DeRozan taking center stage there. How about the ball skills? Taking advantage of those and converting. Now, here's Beverly. An 11-point game for him in the win against Utah. And his court vision was extraordinary, too. Let's not forget that. He was flawless passing the ball. Morris, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. DeRozan gets the bucket. A determined scorer down low. We know this about DeMar DeRozan. He is always looking to put pressure on the defense. Beverly, the pass to George. Back to Beverly. Down low. Tries it from nine. The shot by George, no good. Boy, just one for four. A little brisky right now. And DeMar DeRozan, the bucket on the assist by White. Six points for DeMar DeRozan. Boy, not a bad beginning. Three for four from the floor. Pretty good start. And you watch DeRozan play. He still has that explosiveness. Great first step out of the triple threat position. Can switch directions on the go. Is still a handful to slow on the perimeter. Sure. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Jakob Pertl. What a terrific take to the rim. Paul George is just giving it to the defense right now. Tenacious on that drive. Greg, with the explosiveness you talked about with DeRozan, it helps that he finishes so well when he gets to the rim. And maybe not what he once was, but he is still an elite-level athlete. Doesn't only have to drop the hammer when he gets to the rim either. Very smooth at adjusting mid-flight to finish at the rim. First free throw is good. I don't know if it's underplayed, but there's an all-around aspect to what Paul George does on a night-by-night -night basis. This guy is an elite two-way player.
And both free throws, good for Paul George. And Paul George, Doris, kind of a late bloomer coming up in high school. His older sister used to give him a business on the blacktop. Uh, of course, eventually, he found his stride, and the rest is history. It took some encouraging from older sis and his high school coach, who actually had to threaten him with running suicides to get the guy to shoot more. And think about it. This guy plays his college basketball at mid-major Fresno State. That's really where he got onto the NBA radar. Leonard, no luck. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. The offensive rebound. On the wing, DeRozan. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Leonard attacking. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Kawhi's game comes with a measure of resolve as a scorer. Contact simply doesn't affect him as much as other players. Murray outside. Here's DeRozan. Banked in off the glass. DeRozan's got eight. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Pass to Zubac. He kicks it to George. Outside Leonard. On deep. The rebound by the Spurs. Pirtle's got four rebounds in this game. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Outside, White. It's hauled in by Zubats. The Clippers trail. Now the Clippers moving it up. Oh, Morris in position. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Don't you love it when you've got a small forward who can pass the basketball just like Paul George did there? Makes it look easy. DeRozan against Leonard. DeRozan gets the bucket. Ten points for him. And that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Everly with the ball. And the pass to George. George double teamed. Leonard kicks to George. Here's Morris. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got five rebounds tonight. Spurs have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Passes it to Aldridge. Over Morris. Aldridge can't get it to go. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. Trailing by two, and it's Beverly missing. In transition, here come the Spurs. The second effort, and DeRozan finishing inside. DeRozan's got 12 points in the game. Well, I have always loved the willingness of DeMar DeRozan to mix it up physically. He's got a lean frame, but it doesn't mean he's got a lean game. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Greg, at the beginning of every season, we love to see players that have worked on something during the offseason that they now have added to their game in the new season. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. You know, the work doesn't end when the season ends. Uh, if you're trying to improve your skill set, or if you're trying to just put on muscle, that kind of stuff needs to be done during the break. You need to have an assessment in the off right after the season. Hey, where can I get better? And then you spend the offseason on that challenge. The season never really ends. San Antonio with the ball. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Live by the three, die by the three. If you're perimeter dependent, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. I think when you shoot as poorly as they did from deep in that basketball game, it's not going to go your way very often. The three ball too critical in today's NBA. Here's Leonard following the score by Jakob Pertl. Leonard attacking and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Gay and the jam by Rudy Gay. <laughs> you got to love watching Gay just soar 
through the air. An amazing dunker who just relishes these opportunities. Now here's Williams. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Utah Jazz. George against DeRozan off on the layup. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Here's Murray. Kicks it out to Gay. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Clippers. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Here's Murray. The Clippers get in the bucket. A floater, and that's two points on the layup. And the Spurs lead by six. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Now here's Williams. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Gay against Leonard. When the story of Kawhi Leonard is told, it will be about the hard work being the secret of his success. Here was a guy who was not the most vaunted prospect in either high school or college. But boy, he kept his eyes on what he was after, and he kept working. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. How about Kawhi Leonard? How many guys in the history of their career can say, I was an NBA Finals MVP at 22, and then an NBA Finals MVP at 27? Simply incredible. Free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Mills passes to Johnson. And here is Wilds. A three from Gay. Morris with the rebound. Clippers trail by four and taken away by Johnson. Here's the sound. Johnson outside. Pass to Lyles. Lock at six. Johnson surveying the floor. They grab their own miss, and it's sent back by Morris. Well, Marcus Morris, the frame and the length to block shots, that's pretty. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. And the Clippers call time here. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. A different look for the Clippers. Patrick Patterson, he's checked in for Morris. Luke Kennard comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Jackson in for Paul George. Now here's Jackson. 11 points for him in that last game against the Utah Jazz. Here's Williams. Connects on the nine-footer. This guy is as good a shot maker as anyone in the league. Lou Williams doing work. San Antonio leading by four. Now Mills. No points in the game yet for him. And that one is good. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. And it's Williams with the ball for the Clippers. And it's Williams throwing it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. San Antonio with the ball after the basket by Los Angeles. Shots good by Mills. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. 
And here is Williams. Pass to Kennard. Let's it go with a three. A rebound by Johnson. San Antonio's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. That was nice, guys. The determination, the toughness, not going to shy away from the boards. Jackson gets the bucket. Not an easy basket for Jackson. He doesn't shoot a really high percentage, but he does make a lot of tough hoops. Now here's Mills. The pass to Gay. And they double up Gay. Passes it to Lyles. Kicks it to Mills. From outside the arc. He can't get that one to fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Jackson passes to Kennard. Back to Jackson. Mills with the steal. To the middle. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Gay with no one around. Offensive rebound Spurs. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. All right, a chance to see some stats for Kennard. Good season for him last year. Averaged 15 points a game. Four assists and three rebounds. And right now, he's, he's just a role player, but he's working hard and contributing in spurts. Well, we've certainly seen flashes of what this guy can do, but he has got to find a way to consistently do it if he wants to be a starter. And he makes the first. Good on the second, so he makes them both. A minute 20 left in the first quarter of the game. Williams with the ball. Dishes it to Patterson. Pass to Kennard. Ibaka down low. Covered by Lyons. Ibaka, no luck. San Antonio leading by six. Inside, Gay. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Gay's got six. And Gay has great length down on the block there. Fantastic at just jumping on opportunities to score when he's down low. Shots good by Williams. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Here's Mills. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Boy, still a dependable shot blocker. That is what got Serge Ibaka playing time at the beginning of his career. Nice. Here's Williams. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. And uh, San Antonio shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Now here's Mills. Six on the shot clock for three. No good. Shot missing. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for the San Antonio Spurs. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We'll return shortly. Recently, we spoke with Patrick Beverly about his throwback style. Old school basketball, you know, and it's fun, and it's light. Fans deserve it on both sides. Uh, you know, it's a good old-fashioned basketball. You, you know, it's all a part of the game. We're both trying to win, and uh, that's what people want to see. Hard-nosed, edgy basketball. Now, pound for pound, Greg Beverly may be the most physical player in the league. And he also gets in your head. Uh, it's a combination that allows him to get stops against guys as big as Kevin Durant. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. 
And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Spurs? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. On the floor for San Antonio, we've got Lyles. Rudy Gay is out there with Johnson. And it's Mills. And it's Vassell in at the two. Now here's Jackson. Here's Kennard. Shoots over Mills. That one's good. The San Antonio lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Kennard. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Mills with it, guarded by Jackson. And the rejection by Zubox. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Los Angeles. The Spurs also with the sub. Derek White's checked in for Johnson. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Here's Mills. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Well, we've got a second, Two so shots. they'll bring up a list wow. of shooting guards that have been red hot at the free throw line over the past month. Well, you look at Kennard, the best in the NBA. You put him on the line, and it's nearly automatic. And one of the benefits of being as fantastic at the free throw line as he is, is it allows him to be really aggressive at driving the lane. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Boy, Greg, there is a lot to like offensively for Luke Kennard. I tell you, he can shoot it. He's a crafty finisher and really improving as a passer. The question mark is the defensive end. 6'5 in height and wingspan. Not a leap to, so he's got to get by on his instincts and his anticipation. The Clippers trail to the paint. Here's Patterson. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Mills passes the game. Back to Mills. Shot clock at six. Miles with a wide open look. No good on the three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Jackson misses. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Spurs. Their next game is in San Francisco. So a road game with the Warriors. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And Beverly kicks to Zubats. Pass to Kennard. That one dropped for his second bucket. Knock him two for four. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. White against Kennard. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Here's Mills. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball. Here's the sound. Now the pass to Mills. And here's Gay. Four on the shot clock. 
shoots the three. But they recover it. A second chance effort. Off the left rim and out. Clippers have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. And Jackson with the basket on the assist by Patterson. Jackson's got his second basket. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. So, for the Clippers, Morris is checked in for Patterson. Leonard comes in for Luke Kennard. And George is subbed in for Jackson. Here's White. 11 points for him in that last game against Portland. A shot missing. Good work defensively by Morris. Clippers have gone four of six from the field here in the second. George passes to Leonard. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Purdle. Well, don't let Kawhi's quiet demeanor fool you. This guy has athleticism and explosiveness. How about that in style? Spurs trail by three. Now Murray. He's coming off a 22-point game against Portland. And guys, remember, remarkable passing the ball as well. He racked up a number of good assists. Now here's DeRozan. Just five to shoot. And here is Murray. Beverly deciding where to go with it. Outside Leonard. Back to Beverly. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Murray with it. Passes to Purdy. Right side, Aldridge. Looking to end the run. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Morris with the bucket. Morris has got the lead up to seven now for the Clippers. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And here's a look at some numbers for Paul George. Last season, he played outstanding. Last year averaged 21 points per, five rebounds and four assists. He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. Now here's Murray. Pass to DeRozan. Leonard with the steal. Wants to get it to Morris and does. And Morris throws it down. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Here's White. The Clippers get in the bucket. Murray kicks to Pirtle. Pass to DeRozan. White with it. They can use a bucket. Rebound by the Clippers. Morris has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, well, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. George against Murray. Here's Zubats. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Spurs. Nine-point game. And there it is for him. Well, with big hands and nice touch, Pirtle knows how to finish in the post. This guy has a lot in his arsenal. Murray against Beverly. 
He kicks to George. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. That one on Jakob Pertl. This is a case where it's just the pure strength of Paul George, able to fight through contact so well on these shots. Los Angeles shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Uh, and look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at What's the line, that? about 79% of their free throws. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ibaka's checked in. The Spurs also with the sub. Johnson's checked in. That free throw good from George. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now here is Aldridge. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Six to shoot. Here's Johnson. The rebound by Ibaka. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. Beverly, the pass to Morris. And no good. Aldridge with some nice D. Here's the floater. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down now to just eight points with the basket from DeRozan. Now the Clippers with it. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That'll be the second of five straight played at home. To the inside, George. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. We see Paul George just understands how to use his length and his size. He is such a tough cover close to the basket. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Lou Williams has checked in for Patrick Beverly. He hits the second from the line. Spurs trail by nine. Here's Murray. Kicks to DeRozan. Johnson outside. To the middle. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Johnson. DeRozan's got four points in the quarter. Well, this guy is so good at keeping his focus on the rim. DeMar DeRozan likes going right at the defense. Now here's Leonard. 29 points for him last game against Utah. I love that he sacrificed his body over and over. His persistence of getting to the free throw line really paid off for them. San Antonio's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. And it's Johnson with the jam. And that's a case where DeMar DeRozan's teammates benefiting from him being a willing distributor. This is a very team first guy. Here's Williams. He's got eight. Feeds it to Leonard. Six on the shot clock. Here's Morris. Rebound San Antonio. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. San Antonio shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. You know, the determination that DeMar DeRozan plays with, it's sort of this steely, I'm going to get where I want to go, and don't sleep on his athleticism. Now here's Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. 
Now, I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And Kawhi Leonard with a very analytical approach, Doris, to the game. Studies angles, movement, trying to groove in on perfect mechanics. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, Kev, that goes back to his favorite high school subject, which was math. And think about how precisely he has built his game. He started at the free throw line, then went to the low post, and now has added the range game. Very analytic approach. Now, here's DeRozan. He had 25 points last game. Find Devine Murray, and he gets it to him. Back to DeRozan. Poked away. From deep three-point range. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And the Spurs making a change here. Gay's checked in. Now Williams. Eight points for him. Left side, George. Johnson with some nice D. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. San Antonio again missing. Los Angeles leading by six. Leonard attacking, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. When Kawhi Leonard is healthy, he can dominate both ends of the floor. Nice job to finish it there. And here is Murray. Right side, Aldridge. It's stolen by Morris. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. George has got the ball. It's stolen by Johnson. Murray with it. Down low. Here's Aldridge. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got six assists now in the game. A favorite spot of Aldridge's. He likes to operate as close to the rim as possible. It's good from long range. George has got 13. That's fantastic shot making this quarter after struggling a bit in the first. Leonard against DeRozan. 59 seconds left to play here in the half. Shot clock at six. It's good, and that takes him to 77% shooting this game, 10 for 13. The tremendous scoring on the move, right? Not to take anything away from that spot-up mid-range game, but DeRozan just dynamite getting to the cup. Now here's Leonard. He's got 12. High post to Baca. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut to just five on the basket for Murray. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Leonard against DeRozan. Now here's Leonard. Defense right on him. And there's the pass to Ibaka. Over Aldridge. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the L.A. Clippers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks so much. Kawhi, you seem to be so at ease out there. How much is that helping your game? It's helping me out a lot. Uh, just coming in the game, relax, just with more intensity. I mean, my teammates are getting me involved on the offensive end. I'm playing great on defense. We just got to keep it up second half and not let it up. Hey, Kawhi, thank you very much for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson.
Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Paul George taking care of business in this one. He had 13 points, two rebounds, and three assists. Kenny, what would you think about the Clippers? Well, I have to point to their efficiency on the offensive end as the key for them. The way they've been moving the ball and finding the open man, that's been super impressive. They don't need to change a thing, Ernie. At this point, just keep playing smart basketball. Shaq, what's your take on San Antonio so far? Well, those second chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move. And so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Third quarter action. Getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Beverly in at the point. For Los Angeles, they have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. Spurs trail by seven. Murray outside. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time. And the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, Jay, that's an Take easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. throw good Murray and so Murray nails both of them DeRozan finds Pirtle. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Passes it to Aldridge. Now Murray. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Now here's Beverly. Leonard looking around. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Purdy. Boy, what is more fear-invoking than Kawhi off the bounce near the cup? Look out. Spurs trail by five. Pass to DeRozan. Fades. 
It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. To the paint. Here's Beverly. Rebound by Murray. For San Antonio, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. How about the acceleration of DeRozan on the break? Just beats everyone down the floor for an easy opportunity. Here's George. 15 points in the game. A three from Leonard. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Murray. Here's Beverly. Pass to Zubats. He kicks it to George. Yes, and the foul. That one on White. Oh, my goodness. Paul George under duress of exceptional defense. No problem. The Clippers have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Los Angeles making a switch here. Kennard's checked in. good from George so it's the Spurs now Murray outside the pass to Aldridge over Morris and it's Aldridge missing Clippers leading by four inside throws it down as the official calls the foul it may be a three-point play that one on Jakob Pertl. Well, I'll tell you this. If the defense collapses, if it makes a mistake momentarily, Beverly has the kind of basketball IQ to take advantage. Jackson, he's checked in for George. Trey Lyles checked in for San Antonio. Mills comes in for Derek White. That one misses. Spurs trail by six. Stolen by Zubac. Morris with the ball. Now guarded by DeRozan. And Jackson gets it to go. Jackson's got six. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Now Murray, 10 points for him. And DeRozan kicks to Pirtle. And here's Mills, back to Pirtle, just five on the clock. Here's Wiles. Again, the miss by the Spurs. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Here's Jackson. DeMar DeRozan grabs the board. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Spurs trail by eight. Mills with it. Jackson on him. Good on the shot. Mills has got his third bucket of the night. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Morris outside. Three-pointer. They get it back. Zubats, nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. Zubats has got four points now in the quarter. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Here's Vassell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. 
That'll be his second foul of the game. Serge Ibaka was checked in for the Clippers. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Gaze checked in. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Gaze got 13. And when Pirtle sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. Now, here's Beverly. Passes it to Kennard. Lays it up and banks it in. Ten points for him. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Mills passes to Gay. Spurs passing it around. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And Gay is just so crafty inside, forcing the defense to hit him in the paint. The Spurs have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. Shooting two. That's good from Gay. And the thing about Rudy Gay, you never know when he's going to have a night where he just explodes. He's one of those guys that can just score in bunches. Rudy Gay hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Everly with the ball. Now, here's Zubac. Pass to Kanar. And Pirtle sends it back. Very hard to get a shot off over Jakob Pirtle when he's that tight on you. Too much size, too much length. Williams, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. Here's Jackson. No good that time. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. And here's Mills from the arc. Second chance shot. They get the rebound. Here's Gay. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, and Gay skilled really at drawing contact. Doesn't back away from it especially when he's shooting. The Spurs have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now here's Jackson. Six points for him. Here's Williams. Offensive rebound. And Ibaka kicks to Williams. Back to Ibaka. Over Gay. And Serge Ibaka, the bucket on the assist by Williams. I have always loved the intensity with which Serge Ibaka plays, especially on the glass. He understands how to use his length. Now Mills. He has six. You think about Lou Williams and finding his way and finding himself with the Los Angeles Clippers. He's played for a fifth of the teams in the league. He always felt overlooked, underappreciated, but certainly he's found his niche here. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. Spurs trail by eight. 
Mills dishes to DeRozan. Pass to Bissell. Gay in the corner. Fires from deep. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Well, Doris in the past, some regarded Lou Williams as a lackluster defender. Didn't want to lift weights. Um, you know, had kind of an interesting reputation. He bounced around the league, as we know, quite a bit. He's played for a lot of different teams. Right. I mean, think about his early association with Allen Iverson, the great Allen Iverson. He succeeded on his own terms, right? Both of them comfortable in their own skin, able to do some amazing things on the court. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Jackson passes to Kennard. Shoots over Mills. Rebound San Antonio. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself, accelerates Take off the screens, Take a break. can still leave Through a shot. defender in the dust when he turns it on. Free throw good, Mills. Johnson, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And both free throws good for Mills. Here's Jackson. He's got eight. The pass to Zubats. Here is Ibaka. He's covered by Gay. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And what a unique career Serge Ibaka has had. Some incredible totals for him over the course of his career. That's right, Greg. I mean, I think people would be shocked to know Serge Ibaka was the first player ever to make 500 threes and have 1,500 blocks. Hard to imagine nobody had ever accomplished that feat. Give credit to Ibaka. He changed his offense and added the three ball. No good on that one. Well, there's a length and an intensity that Serge Ibaka brings to the table. And as a solid teammate who contributes on both ends, this is a guy you want on your team. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for the Clippers. And he sinks the second. Spurs trail by seven. Mills looking it over. It's Gay on the way. Might see that time from Leonard. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Here's Mills, and it's blocked by Ibaka. And they'll keep possession. Here's Pirtle. Tries again, and they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Well, Marcus Aldridge, he's checked in for San Antonio. <laughs> Leonard against Gay. Leonard attacking. He dishes it to Ibaka. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Out of bounds. The Clippers take possession. All right. A chance to check out stats for Leonard. Coming off a terrific season. He put up about 27 points a game. Seven rebounds and five assists. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's, he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Someone the other players look up to. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Aldridge. 
some great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Now here's Jackson. Eight points for him. And George gets it to go. Well, you have to respect the focus of Paul George, not letting the defense alter his shot. Spurs trail by nine. Mills passes to Aldridge. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Williams against Johnson. Back to Gay. Lock at six. Over Leonard. Here's Aldridge. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And what a tremendous career for LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, so many double doubles. A rim protector makes plays for others. Man, the list goes on. Greg, LaMarcus Aldridge taking more three-pointers last season, easily passing his career highs in attempts with almost three a game. And Aldridge shot a very respectable percentage from outside. In order to play heavy minutes at the four, you need to be able to shoot. Good to see Aldridge still adding new wrinkles to his game. And so LaMarcus Aldridge nails them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Outside, George to the paint, and it's sent back by Aldridge. Here's Johnson, misses off the left iron. That's one he knows he should have drained. Williams kicks to George. George double teamed and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, make no mistake, Paul George is a physical guy. He will not shy away from contact on these moves. He's been punishing them at the line in this one, going seven of eight. He has come through in a big way at the foul line in this game. good Paul George and the Clippers making a change here Morris has checked in good on both and the Spurs with possession here Murray outside. Here's the teardrop. The wide open look here for Aldridge. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Aldridge has got his second bucket of the night. I like that decision right there. Don't try to force the shot inside. Kick it out. Outside, George shoots over White. And it's George missing. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Spurs. They trail by seven. Gay passes to Murray. Ibaka comes with the double team, and there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That will get him his fourth foul of the game, and due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And so Murray nails both of them. Clippers leading by five. Down low, here's George, and it's George finishing it off. Well, how about that killer instinct? Paul George understanding he's got it going right now, very confident in his abilities. San Antonio's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third, still 0 for 3. Murray with the bounce pass. 
Pass to Aldridge. Over Abaca. Aldridge misses. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting well. 50% from the floor. And Williams, here we go. And the shot goes down. Williams has got 10 points in the game. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now, here's Aldridge. He's got six. Murray outside. Six on the shot clock. Leonard against Johnson. San Antonio again missing. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Here's Ibaka. It's rebounded by Aldridge. Aldridge has got six rebounds now in the game. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. Spurs trail by nine. I always like to hold for the last shot right here. Well, that's great execution if you can do that because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Good if it goes. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And we've watched three so far in this one. Clippers lead by nine. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Clippers leading by nine on the court right now for the Spurs. Gay and Aldridge are up front. Derek White is out there with DeJounte Murray. And it's DeRozan in at the three spot. Wide open look here for Murray. Offensive rebound. Outside DeRozan. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Ibaka. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. Here's George. That shot off. Murray with the defensive effort. Spurs trail by nine. White, wide open. He fires. That three off the mark. And for the Clippers, they're shooting it pretty well. Close to 50%. George, no good. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. Murray against Beverly. Here's Gay and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. He hits both from the strike. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Murray against George. Pass to Beverly. Ibaka with the ball. Over Murray. And Serge Ibaka, the bucket on the assist by Beverly. Beverly's got his third assist on the night.
Spurs trail by nine. Murray outside. It's Gay on the way. Got a piece of it. And here's Beverly. There's the feed to Leonard. Shoots over DeRozan. Nice D from DeRozan. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. White, good. Don't you love the chemistry? Those guys work so well together in the open floor. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. Kicks it to Leonard. Back to George. Pass to Ibaka. Five to shoot. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And he's showing signs now of life after going scoreless through the half. Marie finds Gay. Outside, White. There's the pass to Gay. All alone. That one drops for him. Gay's got 21 in the game. Love watching Gay stroke it from there. His in-between game is strong. Measures it perfectly. Spurs trail by seven. Right side, Aldridge. Uncovered. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Los Angeles calls timeout. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Pirtle is checked in for the Spurs. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron Lou's huddle. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? When near the bucket, Paul George knows what to do. This guy has such a nuanced understanding of the offense. Spurs trail by seven. Here's DeRozan. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And George, here we go. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Good, Paul George. And George drops them both. Spurs trail by nine. Passes it to Aldridge. Outside, White. For the three. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Well, almost effortless there from Kawhi Leonard. The reach and leaping ability. Look out. And so it's San Antonio with it. Pass to DeRozan. Shoots over Leonard. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. DeRozan's got 25 points in the game. Clippers leading by nine. George looking around. To the inside, Leonard. The rebound by the Spurs. 
DeRozan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's White, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Shooting two. And the first one drops. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's George. Got a chance here to hit 30 on the game. Bully ball. A good old-fashioned bully ball on display here. He is making the game look too easy. And Derek White picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Mills, he's checked in for San Antonio. Outside, George. Here's Morris over Aldridge. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Spurs trail by seven. Right wing. The three. He gets hauled in by Paul George. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Leonard attacking. And Pirtle pulls it down. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. And it's Patty Mills with the three. And look at how DeMar DeRozan tries to get the basketball around and trust his teammates. Love that he's allowing them to make plays. Now, here's Beverly. In the corner, it's Morris. Outside, George. Pass to Zubats. Clock at four. Misses the layup. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what kind of surprising it's such a tight game Murray the pass to DeRozan buries it down low DeRozan's got 27 points and they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time if that run had come any later it would have been Katie bar the door <laughs> showing so much passion and determination here at the end they're close to the lead but still have plenty of work left to do and the Spurs with possession four-point game DeRozan against Leonard DeRozan surveying the D Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Sure. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Good, Paul George. Spurs trail by seven. To the middle. Here's Mills. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Shooting two. Free throw good, Mills. Oh. 
and both free throws good for Mills. Here's Beverly. It's deflected. Leonard against DeRozan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on DeRozan. You can see the kind of savvy Kawhi Leonard plays with. This guy makes the defense commit and gets himself to the foul line. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. The Spurs making a switch here. White's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Spurs trail by seven. Murray outside. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Oh. You've got to be kidding. Though he may not be a natural point guard, Patrick Beverly understands how to find his teammates. Murray with it. Outside DeRozan. Back to Murray. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his fourth assist in this one. Clippers leading by seven. Now here's Leonard. Out to Morris. Let's it go from deep. Buries it from three-point range. Well, this is why Mr. Morris is out there. The ability to drain the shot from long distance and spread the floor. Now DeRozan. And the pass to Aldridge. DeRozan against Leonard. Now here's DeRozan. He's guarded close. Count it. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. The Clippers have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. That shot, no good. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Morris dishes to George. Inside. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by George. George has got his fifth assist in this one. To the paint, here's White. Excellent D there from George. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 14-6 run. And stolen by Aldridge. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That is his first foul of the game. And so Aldridge will bring it up for the Spurs. Trailing by 10. And here's DeRozan. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Here's Leonard. Banked in off the glass. And now a 12-point Clipper lead. Well, that's about recognizing a transition opportunity when it presents itself. Nice job by Kawhi Leonard. Here's DeRozan. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Good timing. Uh, they're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. 
and it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working, and no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here, and the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Murray kicks to Aldridge. Count that one. Aldridge has got four this quarter. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Out to the wing. Here's Beverly. Murray with the defensive effort. Spurs trail by 10. Aldridge left side. Mar DeRozan on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Morris. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Marcus Morris has proven that he can be effective in any system in the NBA. Understands his role as a stretch four. First one falls for him. And Morris drops them both. Spurs trail by 12. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter. Very few players in the NBA get to the line as often as DeMar DeRozan. There's a bit of an edge to his game. He's not at all afraid. And he knocks down the first one. in two from the line that time 130 left to play in the final quarter Murray against Beverly down low and stolen by Aldridge and here we go Murray heading to the hoop and it's Murray with the jam just another way Aldridge beats you as a facilitator, very comfortable making decisions. One oh four left in the fourth quarter. Morris left side tries from 16 and he hits the jump shot and the Clippers lead by 10. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces as it appears, it'll be a nice win here for the Clippers. They simply ran them off the court. They set the pace, and their transition game was executed flawlessly. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one, a terrific night for Kawhi Leonard. Boy, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. Here's DeRozan. And he drops in the layup off the glass. DeRozan's got 35 in the game. Well, there's a tenacity, a ferocity right now about DeMar DeRozan. This guy seems to want the ball every time down the floor. Oh, Leonard in position. In transition, here comes San Antonio. White's running outside for Murray. Passes it to Purdy. Here's White. Frames it from downtown. 
His vision is excellent for a center. You see it in the assist from Pirtle. He has got such great awareness of his teammates' movements. So the Clippers with the win. It was up for grabs right until the final second. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Why? I guess it's fair to say defense really set the tone for your team tonight. For sure. That's what we're trying to build up to, being a great defensive team. And uh, we just want to keep our energy um, at the start of the game. Appreciate your time, man. Go enjoy the win. Kevin? All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.